compared to this. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. That's just makes it look so cute. Hey there, Lego fans, and welcome to another episode. So, um, a few years ago, an AFOL by the name of Sleeping Cow put a an idea set on the Lego Ideas website. And I have to say, I was actually a bit late to the game in voting for it. I did vote for it, but this was one of the fastest, you know, it was one of the sets that gained 10,000 votes, the fastest I've ever seen. It was on there for, um, I wanna say a little less than a year. And within that time, you know, it had achieved 10,000 pieces because it was unique, it was sizable, it was beautiful, it had moving parts, and it actually made sound. As I said, the AFOL's name was Sleeping Cow, real name, Danny Chen, and I'm talking about the beautiful, iconic musical instrument we all know as the Grand Piano. So I've had this sitting on my shelf unopened for a couple of years now. I couldn't bring myself to open it because <laughs> it looks daunting. Um, but also because I really didn't want to open the box. I mean, it's a beautiful design of a box. Um, look at this. Look at the back. Shows you various, you know, parts of the piano, different angles. And I love the fact that it's set on a stage looking out into the audience in a music hall. It looks beautiful. It looks like this is something that belongs in Carnegie Hall, right? Um, I, I love the design of the box. Here's the side. Right, and oh, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. So the cool thing about this, as you can see, it's powered up, so it comes with the battery and the motor to power this. Batteries are not included, so at some point we're gonna have to add our own batteries. But I love the adjustable bench, right? Moving foot pedals. Actual piano opens up so you can see the interior and the keyboard actually comes out so you can see the hammers. And I mean, it's, this is, this is a great set. Um, I just, I don't know. It's, what else can I say? It's number 31 in the Lego Ideas series. It has, it's a uh, part, it's, Set number 21, sorry, 21323, and it's got 3,662 pieces. So this is going to be quite the build. It's I'm looking at five, five or mm, four, maybe five hours. I could be wrong, uh, but four or five hours. But without further ado, let's open it up. Let's see what's in it. I am actually really excited to be opening this up. So I know there's a huge debate within the AFOL community whether to keep boxes or get rid of boxes. This box is a keeper. What's in here? Whoa, okay. So this is what's in here. All right, all right, so we have all these bags. And then we have a second box. Cool design, love it. Piano keys. So there are 33 individual bags. They're numbered in sets up to 21. 
Um, and then you have an extra bag of gold tubing. Um, some more gold tubings, the mod, the, the battery pack, the motor, some slates, and of course the instructional manual. Let's see. Okay. Wow, this is thick. This entire thing has... 544 pages with 840 steps of instruction. We are going to be at this for a while, so don't get used to these clothes I'm wearing. They're going to change over time. This is going to take, yeah, this is going to take a few days. <laughs> It'll probably total about six hours of building, but this is going to take a few days. So bear with me as we go through it. I am really excited to finally build this. And I think as far as my Lego collection goes, this is the only one for which I have permission from the missus to display in the living room, in a cabinet, in a glass cabinet in the living room. So I'm excited to actually place this. Yes, you did promise me that. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm getting the dirty look. As you all know, I am banned from having Lego in in the family room or in the living room. So, yeah, I am limited to the basement and my office. So, that's where we are, and I'm excited to really get into this. So, um, stay tuned, all right?
So here is the final product. This is huge. I mean, look at this. This is, this is huge. This is grand. As the French would say, this is grand. This is, this is huge. This, <laughs> a lot of detail. I absolutely, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this. This is, this is a lot of details. And the cool thing about this is that when you open the side, there's the battery, right? So, there's the battery. We can close this. And let me turn on. So, part up app. Here is the piano. You choose that. And of course, it's playing through the phone. And you get... The key's moving because the battery is connected to a motor and the motor connected to pieces that lift and drop the keys. I, this is, this is amazing. This is such ingenuity. I absolutely love this. This is, I am, okay, I'm impressed. I am impressed. This is completely impressive. This is like amazing. So the keyboard cover goes down um, and you can actually, all right, lay down the lectern flat. Okay, so everything closes and it looks like an actual grand piano. Now you can lift, you can open. All right, and it's got a song called Play Day, and it actually was composed by the fan designer himself. There you go, and there it sits. Now, the inside, the inside detail, let me make sure I lift this without dropping it. So the inside detail, is you know you have the gold rods playing the role of the key the um the strings and then you have the dampeners for the keys which can be lifted um the foot pedal actually works and i think you're better off <laughs> seeing this again this way and if i hit the foot pedal yeah it actually lifts the dampeners. Look at that. So, I don't know. This is such a great set. And here is one thing. So the bench, with a twist of the knob on the side, the bench raises and lowers, much like an actual piano bench would. I am so excited. So, as I mentioned, I was allowed to put this in the living room, but this is so big, there is no place in the living room to put it. So I'm gonna have to clear some space behind me. Great build. It took me several hours. Um, I have to give this one, this was about a six or seven hour build and that was mostly because I was only building in the evenings. I built in the evenings over a period of about a week, maybe an hour and a half each evening after work. So that took a few days, but it's about a seven hour work. And the cool thing is that, I mean, I absolutely, I'm fascinated. The build was fun. The end product is amazing. And one of the things about Lego, I mean, you can't 
put together a set the size and this design without wondering how did the fan designer sit down and meticulously put this together it is it is a work of art it's it's a work it's a masterpiece this is this is absolutely beautiful i don't <laughs> I, I can't say more than that this is this is absolutely beautiful it's realistic it has moving parts it's got the interior that is actually quite amazing like what you would find in an actual grand piano is designed in here i wish i could take it all apart and show you the intricacies of the internal design but it is it is beautiful um if you don't have this this is going to be one of those sets that just goes through the roof the price will go through the roof after it's retired if you don't have the this i'd say get your hands on it um my only complaint about this is <laughs> fingerprints there's so many fingerprints on this because you're i mean it's the side of the brick that shows right um so many fingerprints so i'm gonna have to probably take a a damp washcloth and get rid of as many of the prints as possible so that when I finally display it it's not looking dirty because right now it does kind of look dirty um, but other than that man this this is a beautiful set I don't think I've been this fascinated with a set since the ISS or the Saturn V but this is I am I'm blown away. This is beautiful. <laughs> Just this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so enough. Anyway, thanks again for the support. Thanks for sticking around. It's been a lot of fun putting this, this together and um, I'm actually looking forward to my Holy Grail build, which is the Titanic. That's going to be the next. But this has been so much fun. This has been absolutely, this was a knockout. So to the fan designer and to the Lego designers of this, two thumbs up. You did a bang up job. This has been beautiful. And I can't, I can't say enough about it, but I'm absolutely in love with this. So, um, I am dedicating this one to my friend Ami, who is a piano teacher extraordinaire. Um, and I hope when she sees this, she'll love it. And um, this is a look, if you get a music teacher in your life, this is a great gift. If you have a piano player in your life, this is a great gift. If you have somebody who loves musical instruments, this is an absolutely great, great gift. If you're a music teacher sitting in a classroom, this is a great display gift, display set. Look, you like music, grand pianos, whatever. This is a great display set and I can't wait to have it, you know, behind me. Um, but five stars, two thumbs up, perfect 10, name it. It's this is solid. This is beautiful. Um, can't say anything less than that. This is just, whew, I really enjoyed this. So if you can get your hands on it, please do. I highly recommend it. And for those of you who collect for the purpose of reselling, this is going to be a major reseller. I don't think I'm going to give this up. I'm not giving mine up. This is a permanent keeper. It's just too beautiful to let go. So I'm hanging on to this one. Um, but again, stick around, stay tuned. The Titanic is coming up next. And then we have some Star Wars builds that are coming up. Um, I still have the corner garage that I haven't even touched. Um, anyway, thank you so much for the support. I am so lucky to have so many, you know, people who comment who like who subscribe please do all three um let's talk about this because this is i don't 
think I can ever stop talking about this. This is amazing. So in the comments, tell me what you think about this. Tell me if you've built it, if you saw any drawbacks to it. Um, the details are out of this world. So I highly recommend it. I highly, highly recommend it. So stick around. Let's, let's do some more builds. And as always, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, play well.